Welcome to the Dutch Caribbean, a collection of islands scattered across the blue waters of the Caribbean Sea, formed over millions of years by the forces of fire, pressure and time. Each island is a testament to the marvels of evolution and the delicate balance of life. From the towering heights of tropical rainforests, arching trees cover the land in verdant splendor. Draped in moss and epiphytes, these trees form a cathedral-like canopy beneath which thrives a symphony of life. From the resounding calls of tropical birds to the whispering rustle of leaves. On the mountainside, seabird species find homes in the crevices and caverns of the isolated cliff faces. Despite the continuous battering by strong winds, rain and hot temperatures, these birds form their nesting colonies in the ridges of these cliffs. Island peaks either give way to mountainous areas that flow into the sea or wetlands and salt marshes. Birds who seek refuge along their journey between islands choose these environments as their ideal homes. In stark contrast to these aqueous habitats, these islands are also home to dry forests and caves. Residents here find ways to thrive despite scorching temperatures and a continuous onslaught of winds. These dry ecosystems ultimately give way to the rich coastlines of the islands. Mangrove forests of labyrinthine roots intertwine like the threads of a living tapestry. Here, amidst the tangled embrace of the mangroves, a myriad of creatures find refuge. Eventually, these mangrove forests pave the way into the sea, where rich seagrass beds provide a starter for many species entering the great realm of the ocean. In the ethereal realm under the waves, we encounter a world of unparalleled beauty, the coral reefs of the Dutch Caribbean. Here, amidst a kaleidoscope of colour and movement, a bustling metropolis of marine life unfolds, where corals bloom like delicate flowers and shoals of fish dance in shimmering harmony. Join us on a journey into the heart of the Dutch Caribbean, where the wonders of nature await at every turn. Together, let us embrace the splendour of these wild places and remember that they are not merely wonderful landscapes to behold, but sacred sanctuaries that sustain the web of life upon which we all depend. In this chapter of our Odyssey, we turn our gaze to the captivating creatures that populate the diverse habitats of these rich islands. A realm where evolution has woven tales of wonder and diversity beyond comparison. Sitting atop the forest are its songmakers, Johnstone's whistling frog. Though this frog is smaller than the palm of your hand, its whistling sound can be heard throughout the forest nights as it calls out to its mate. This small frog feeds off of insects, traversing to wherever this food source is most abundant. From moist montane forest to tropical dry lowland areas, Amongst the hot, craggy coastlines of these islands, we encounter the enigmatic iguanas, masters of adaptation in this arid land. With prehistoric grace, they bask upon sun-drenched rocks, their ancient lineage a testament to the resilience of life in the face of adversity. To conserve water, they have developed the ability to obtain moisture from the food they eat. Like drought-resistant vegetation, and can go for extended periods without drinking water, relying on dew and rain when available. To create cool, protected shelters, they dig burrows in sandy or loose soil. Another great example of species adaptation hails from Aruba, the burrowing owl. Although equipped with wings, the burrowing owl lives underground. In burrows they themselves have dug, it has adapted quite well to its surroundings, as its brown and white plumage is perfectly camouflaged amongst the sandy and rocky terrain. 
another creature that thrives in the desert, the long-nosed bat, an animal that has sensitive vision. It relies on using sound to navigate the world through echolocation. Staying cool amongst the caves for most of the day, they fly out in a swarm to hunt at night. In contrast to animals that thrive in the dry desert, where most creatures call these islands home for the duration of their lives, others are merely passing through on part of a larger journey. Migrating through the deep ocean that surrounds these islands, whales and dolphins also use echolocation as their primary sense to navigate their world, from finding prey to communicate with their pod. Back on land, wetlands and salt marshes are home to a multitude of residential and migratory bird species like the black-necked stilt that focuses on sifting for its nutrition in the shallow water. Many of these birds spend their time perched in mangrove forests that line the coasts of many of the Dutch Caribbean islands, where life thrives not just above the water, but below. Mangroves serve as both a home for species that live out their lives in its shelter, as well as a nursery for many aquatic species that are finding their footing, or fins, so to speak, before heading off into the ocean. Amongst the roots of the mangroves, juvenile fish are protected from lurking larger predators who would gladly scoop them up as a midday snack. Aquatic species that travel from mangroves to the open ocean will pass through the swaying seagrass beds. These seemingly humble meadows of seagrass are bustling hubs of biodiversity providing habitat and shelter for a diverse array of marine organisms. Fish, seahorses and mollusks seek refuge among the swaying blades of seagrass, while sea turtles graze on the nutrient-rich vegetation as sting rays wait patiently for the perfect prey to ambush. Beyond the seagrass, life will find its way to the coral reefs. From soft corals to hard corals, Gorgonians and Elkhorn. There is no shortage of structure for inhabitants to find shelter and call home. Coral reefs are incredible examples of coexistence, where both a plant and animal make up a singular organism. Amongst the dozens of corals that make up the reef, life truly thrives, as these reefs are one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth. Smaller fish find shelter and create homes amongst the corals and anemones, while larger fish come here to dine. Ecosystems as complex as coral reefs require regular maintenance. In comes the parrotfish, crunching on the structure of the reef itself. They actively consume hard coral, rock and algae, and return it to the seascape, replenishing the building blocks that form the foundation of these bustling hubs. Instead of living their lives out in the open for all to see, some inhabitants make a life for themselves, blending seamlessly with their surroundings. Enter the scorpion fish, whose camouflage allows it to look like the reef itself, as its form of protection and survival. As we've seen, no single animal exists without some form of relationship or interaction with its neighbours. And there are truly many forms of partnership to be found in the natural world. In this tapestry of the circle of life, every thread is woven with purpose every creature bound by an intricate web of relationships that sustains the fabric of existence. It's a symphony of symbiosis, where every participant plays a vital role in the harmony of the whole. Some are predators, some prey, some exist in mutualistic relationships, and others unwelcome invasive visitors. On land, Predator and prey engage in a dance as old as time. The osprey, also known as the fishhawk, 
soars in the sky above the wetlands. Osprey, a larger bird species, are apex predators of this ecosystem. They play an essential role in maintaining a healthy balance between predators and prey, which in turn sustains the overall health of the aqueous environments they soar over. Osprey primarily feed on fish, such as mullet, needlefish, and various species of reef fish. Their predation ensures that fish populations remain balanced, avoiding overpopulation, which can lead to depletion of resources such as algae and smaller fish. In fact, apex predators often feed on and thus remove weak or sick individuals from the fish population, promoting healthier and more resilient fish stocks. In the shallow seas, mutualism thrives as coral reefs serve as bustling cities, with each organism playing a specific role. From cleaner shrimp, tending to fish and turtles, to tiny fish, removing parasites from larger marine inhabitants, cooperation is key to the reef's survival. Yet, this delicate balance can be disrupted. Invasive species, like the predatory lionfish, can wreak havoc on coral communities, threatening the entire ecosystem. Invasive species are unnaturally introduced in habitats where they are able to thrive because the natural inhabitants simply have not adapted to their presence. These invasive creatures can decimate local populations, throwing the delicate balance off kelter and disrupting entire ecosystems. The hope is that humans have a part to play in an attempt to heal disturbances we have introduced in nature. As in this delicate dance of life, every species is a player, every interaction a step in the intricate choreography of nature. The natural world is not just beautiful, it is our lifeline. The various landscapes we have explored provide ecosystem services for both land, animals and humans. From purifying our waters to shielding our shores, these ecosystems are indispensable to maintaining our own way of life and the health of the land they inhabit. We must protect them not only for the countless species that call them home, but also to safeguard the very essence of our islands. Just as we learned, species are connected to each other in the delicate web of life. Humans are connected to each other through culture and heritage. And ultimately, the natural world is a foundation for the cultural richness of this island nation. With global temperatures on the rise and climate change becoming increasingly evident, the socio-economic fabric of our islands is at stake. It is more important than ever to take a proactive approach to protect the foundation of the Dutch Caribbean islands. So, what steps can we take in the face of these challenges? First and foremost, it is imperative we practice the active conservation of nature we must set aside critical areas and ecosystem hotspots as protected sanctuaries, where human interaction is limited, like the many national parks of the Dutch Caribbean. These sanctuaries act as a fortress for the preservation of wild spaces. They allow nature to flourish in its own perfected balance. This delicate harmony allows ecosystems to thrive as intended benefiting the score of species that call these places home and, in turn, providing essential services to humanity. Continued support for these national parks is essential, as well as the expansion to protect more areas throughout our islands. Secondly, we need to fortify habitats through active conservation and restoration. Protecting and expanding ecosystems like mangrove forests is paramount, as they act as natural barriers against coastal erosion. As hurricanes grow stronger and more frequent, 
These are the island's first line of defence. Likewise, monitoring and strengthening coral reefs through initiatives like coral nurseries not only preserve biodiversity, but also sustain vital industries like our artisanal fisheries and sustainable dive tourism, providing an essential source of food and jobs for locals. By actively conserving and restoring nature, we can mitigate the impacts of climate change and keep our planet healthy for future generations. After all, we are surrounded by nature. It is a part of us, and we are a part of it. Together, we can forge a future where humans and nature thrive in harmony.